what's your gauge uh, about the 2023 presidential election? Well, I, I'm looking at it in terms of the economic side, right? Uh, so post-election, what have we seen? Uh, we have seen the, the yields, the Nigerian bond yields have sort of dropped, which means the prices have gone up. So there's been a post-election bump for Nigeria because I think investors are saying uh, Buhari is leaving and someone else is coming in. So what we're seeing is the Buhari exit bump. We are yet to see the, should we say, the new president bond in. That's on the bond market, the long-term market. Stock markets is looking very, very flat. I've also noticed that the trade in the Nigerian treasury bills and bonds has also been flat. This is reflective of the, should we say, the lawsuits that are done by the other parties against uh, the APC that has been declared winner by, by INEC. So uncertainty is still there. The markets have still not adjusted and said we have a clear winner, i.e. the court have never decided that. And that is reflective in the bond, in the stock market, and also in the trading in Nigerian bonds and treasury bills. That's where we are like, on the economic side of the, of the elections. Overall, turnout was not that high, but I think the beavers maybe might have contributed to that. But again, a disappointment in terms of the ICT, right, that weren't able to, to transmit uh, results from certain states, also tied this into the Naira thing as well. As well. So it looks like there's a big problem in the IT infrastructure side in Nigeria. But that's my overall take of the elections and what I think. Look at it. Yeah, how